Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to master a song the easiest and fastest way that I've ever figured out for you guys. Let's go. The very first thing you're gonna to need to do is go download a free plugin called MV Meter 2. This is what it looks like. There is a link in the more info area of this video. You have to have this meter to do this method that I'm about to show you. It is essential because with this meter, we actually get to read actual increments, real values on this VU meter, which makes it possible to really master a song easily in GarageBand, okay? So one of the things that you need to understand right at the beginning of this is that this plugin right here is coming in pre-fader of this channel right here, the mastering channel. So what that means is basically I can turn down the volume on this channel, but this plugin is still, even though it's in the mastering channel output, like the master channel output, it's going to get signal. So I'm gonna push play. We hear nothing, but you can clearly see that the thing is getting a lot of signal, okay? So this is step number one of the mastering process that we need to get under control is the gain structure from step one. Now, me, I like you know to use a little bit of headroom when I do this, so I'm gonna push this down all the way down to negative 16 and a half, and this is gonna be different for everybody out there, okay? Um, depending on your mix, depending on your song. But right now, this particular song, I know that it is 16 and a half, negative 16 and a half, okay? So this is the loudest part of the song right here. We're just gonna come in and uh, we're gonna leave the volume down and let's just look at the meter. Oh, I should have zeroed it out. If you click on here, it'll zero it out, sorry. So here comes the loudest part of the song right here. We're just looking for like around negative one, really. Yeah, see? So negative one uh, on the max here. So it gives us a lot of headroom to work with in the mastering stage, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this back up. So for any of you out there who have automation or are just curious where this should be set, it should be set at zero, okay? So we have this set at zero, I'm using it as a fade out and that's that. Now I have set this gain and we're looking good there, okay? Next thing you need to open up is the AU Dynamics Processor. This is one of the better uh, free plugins that comes with GarageBand. It's under Audio Units, go to Apple and it's boom, right there, AU Dynamics Processor. Now, while you are using this particular compressor, this is again gonna be a lot of you using your ears, but the nice thing about this compressor is that you can watch it happen, so you can use your eyes too. My secret, my method is, you know, you don't wanna hear the compression, but you also don't wanna let too much escape, uh, you know, the stuff that's going over, right? We're trying to tame it, we're trying to even it out a little bit here, and add some tone and detail to the mix, right? So with this off, one of the most important things you have to do, I'm gonna click down here on details, um, you have to make sure that you don't increase the gain too much with this or at all, okay? So I'm gonna push play here. And when I turn this on, I'm gonna turn it on and off and you will hear that there's not a huge volume difference, okay? And you can see how little it's actually compressing in that moment, right? So like, there's a lot of this song that didn't need a ton of compression, but there's, you know, the choruses get kind of loud. I could probably even turn that up a touch. Um, but anyway, in general, you don't want there to be a huge volume shift if any, uh, out of this compressor when you turn it off and on, right? So next thing up is gonna be your channel EQ. This is gonna be, again, completely up to you and your song and your ears, um, but this is gonna be the next thing you do. As you can see, I th like to hit things, you know, I pull them out around 50 and I do a little bump around 60, which is pretty standard for me. Uh, and then just sort of sweeten it up. I cut some of the highs off of this one because the symbols were a little bright in certain sections. Um, this is gonna be up to you. But anyway, it's the EQ, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so that's that. Next up is going to be MV Meter 2 again, okay? 
But what you're going to need to do is switch it to RMS standard. It's under factory presets. You're just looking for RMS standard. Okay. So now the secret number you're looking for with mastering is around negative 10 RMS, which is what's going to be read in this area. So, um, you know, negative 10, if you go like to negative 9.4, you're going to be fine. If you go like a little bit less, like negative 10 and a half, you're going to be fine. Um, this isn't the, you know, we know what's going on here. We're mastering in GarageBand at, at home. <laughs> so the figures aren't always going to be exact, but you're looking for negative 10 is, you know, the general rule. A little bit over and under, not a huge deal. Hey guys, I was just sitting here editing the video and realized I left something really important out. So uh, let me add that in right now. When you are here at the fourth stage, right? This is the fourth RMS meter. Uh, we've already covered all that. This little knob right here, that knob, that is what you're gonna turn. And you're gonna be going for that negative 10 number, okay? So uh, just, you know, slowly turn that up until you find the number you want it to be. And always work around the loudest part of your mix when you're looking for the highest figure. Just, you know, find the loudest part of your song and focus on that for this particular number, negative 10 RMS. Okay, now back to the normal program. Anyway, so here we go uh, at the loudest part of the song. And that's actually the point where it peaks right there. So negative 10.1, I'm happy with that. I can live with that. It sounds totally fine. Um, so just remember, you got to get that MV meter too. It makes life so easy. Uh, and just so you know, here is the actual mix um, all mastered. I dragged it back into GarageBand just so we could look at it a little bit and see what it looks like. Um, you know, it looks pretty good to me. I think I see... You know, I see some dynamic range going on. Obviously, like this area here, this is the chorus where it's going to be extra loud. This is the verse where, you know, there's some dynamic. So I'm happy that I can see some dynamic range. I didn't smash it to complete death. Point is, with those three plugins, using them like that, really quickly and easily, you can come up with something that's going to be as loud as, you know, listening to everything else on the radio or on TV and all that kind of stuff and it's going to be easy and you won't have to worry about it like if you're just trying to get your levels up this will do it i hope this helps hey if you feel like subscribing that would be awesome and uh, i would appreciate it very very much if you have any questions comments section is below and i'll talk to you guys very soon peace and love <laughs>